There it is. Oh my god, I'm actually on their roof. There's vending machines. <gasps> no way, dude! The electric furnace is one of the most convenient additions to Rust in recent memory, allowing you to smelt ore without having to constantly farm fuel. But no one has yet pushed these furnaces to their full potential. Until now. We need to find the perfect spot to put this because obviously we need a lot of nodes to like use it. Maybe on this mountain here, there'll probably be a lot of nodes. It kind of depends what kind of bases are around, but definitely in the snow because that's obviously where the most nodes are. It is like 12 hours into force wipe as well. I usually don't play this early into force, but we are today. So it'll be interesting to see how it goes. I reckon right here, we've got airfield just there. You can see the tower. Launch is right there. Gas station there. There's a scrappy there. What? Where are they going? This scrap helicopter probably should have raised some alarm bells being so early into force wipe, but I decided to build here anyway. It was perfect for what I was planning to do. Plenty of nodes, decent nearby monuments, and looking around, there wasn't too many bases to get in the way. Looking at it now though, the lack of neighbors might have something to do with that scrap helicopter. All right, let's go check out that gas station and try and get maybe a green card and enough scrap for a tier one. Oh, there's a guy there. There's two of them. They're probably farming. They're probably from that group I just saw with the scrap helicopter. I can't get back up here either. If I get seen, I'm done. Yep. That group's no doubt going to be a problem. This was our first introduction to this clan. So far, I knew that they lived out by the Arctic Research Base and were likely going to farm around my base for the massive amount of nodes that spawned there. I managed to run to the gas station and secured a green card and a level 1 workbench before heading to the airfield on a run that was going to set up my entire wipe. I should probably grab this bear so I can craft some furnaces. Oh my god! We are going home. What? That's like the third mill crate I've opened this wipe. One force wipe. That's kind of insane. This was the perfect start. I researched the semi-rifle and ammo straight away and upgraded my base with a few metal doors and a bit of honeycomb so that I couldn't get easily early game raided. Before we go any further, I need to tell you about Raid Shadow Legends. With over 700 unique champions and an intense combination of both PvE and PvP content, it's the perfect way to kill time while you wait for nighttime to pass in Rust. My favorite champion has got to be Judge, mainly because he looks like a badass, but also because of his really long sword. One of the toughest bosses in Raid is Hydra, with multiple different heads, each one is a complete boss battle on its own. Let me give you a rundown of two of the possible heads that you can come up against. Firstly, we have the Head of Suffering, which is exactly what it sounds like. Using its special new effect called Pain Link, the head shares some of the damage it takes with you, so if you hurt it, you're also going to suffer. We also have the Head of Blight, which loves poison. The Head of Blight creates a poison cloud, making it super hard for your team to land their attacks against the Hydra. Rather than landing big meaty attacks, you'll be landing weak hits and missing your debuffs. Fortunately, he's super weak to fire, so make sure to use that to your advantage. Advantage. New players can get your hands on Stag Knight, one of the best epic champions around, as well as a skin for Stag Knight designed by Jontron. Just use the promo code JTSKIN before the 7th of October. If you're not a new player, you can still get Stag Knight and the skin through an in-game event. You can also now fight against the Hydra and other clans at the same time in the new clan-based competition Hydra Clash. You and four other clans go head-to-head -to, -head to see who can smack the Hydra the hardest, with some really sweet rewards on offer. If you haven't started playing Raid yet, then you're missing out. Use my link in the description or scan the QR code on screen now to get some insane bonuses. Epic Champion, Drake, and a bunch of other useful things. Thank you to Raid Shadow Legends for supporting the channel. Ellie just spawned. I wonder if that group will take it. I assume they will. Pretty sure there's a lot of them. There's a guy there. What's he got? He's full kit. He's he's that's an AK. He's full kit with an AK. 
On his own. This is potential. He's coming back this way. I wonder if he's from the big group. Surely he'd be back at their base if he's the big group because they're taking heli right now. Okay, they took heli. Where's this guy? I'm not sure if he's with them or not. I'm just going to sit in here and hope that he comes through. He might not, but it's our best bet. Having learned that not only was this group taking heli, but also already running around with full AK kits, I had some more investigating to do and decided to have a look at their base to see what we were really dealing with. Okay, that looks like a bit of a chonker. I mean, I assumed it was going to be big, but for 12 hours into force wipe, they're going to have a lot of people, I think. They're probably still going to do a china wall and everything on that base. Given the risk of living near this group, I knew that I had to keep my head down for now and try and progress as much as possible. I grinded out a level 2 workbench and could now craft semi-rifles to defend myself. I also farmed some external TCs so that when I did eventually get raided, I wouldn't be griefed. As far as I was aware, this group didn't currently know of my base on top of the mountain, but that was all about to change. Oh, surely there's more. There's no way this guy's farming alone, right? Tran. His name's Tran. I have no idea what the names are of the guys from the clan, though, so it could be one of them. There are a lot of people there. Damn, a lot of shots. It's probably the big group. I can see two already. Three. Maybe four. Yeah, that's got to be the group, dude. That's got to be the group that lives out there towards Arctic. They're probably the reason that there's no bases around here because they just raid everyone straight away. I'm probably next, to be honest. Let's try and not piss them off. <laughs> this guy might be alone because he's not with the other group that was just down there. Any danger of hitting a shot? Oh my god. Oh. Oh, dude, I should have run. It's Tran, too. Tran's the farmer I just killed. Which makes me think that Tran's with the big group. Which is not good, because I really don't want to be killing their farmers out here. It's a good way to get raided. Now that these guys definitely knew of my existence, I needed to beef my base up a bit. And what better way to do that than with the first of many electric furnaces that we would be setting up this wipe. Now, this might be a bit early to be doing electricity and industrial stuff, but this whole wipe is about doing industrial stuff, so I feel like it helps as a solo to do this stuff early anyway. Like, if I can get a few electric furnaces running, then I'll be able to build up the base so much quicker. Especially when I leave all this ore cooking overnight, I'll be able to build up the base heaps. There we go. The first three automated furnaces of the wipe. Definitely not the last. With our furnaces cooking, we were now able to do a significant amount of base work. Building up our compound and open core, we were now a much more imposing figure on this mountain. Oh, that's not good.
I don't know if I've ever been so screwed in my life. I don't think I've ever been so screwed. It feels like a massive come up. I just rolled them so hard. But boy, am I f***ed. <laughs> if they weren't already annoyed at my presence, then they're definitely pissed off now. I'm sure at least they'll give me an online, right? To make it at least a little bit more difficult for them, I spent the next couple hours working on my base. That was until I was once again interrupted by the clan right outside my front door. Was that a minicopter crashing? Right there. Yeah, it was mini. I'm going to that. I'm going to it. Hello? There's a, there's a dead full kit right there, man. Dead full kit, uh, dead arctic. There's an L9 here now. someone above me I don't want to put on my AK because it will make noise just go I just gotta run there's a guy across there as well oh my god I'm surrounded now this might be GG's I gotta push. He's dead. Oh. There's heaps coming from behind anyway. Oh. I may not have gotten out of this fight alive, but I did once again remind the clan of my presence. Probably something that I should be avoiding, to be honest. I finished off the base, including the first of many turrets, getting it to a point that I could at least attempt to defend if I did get raided. That was, of course, if I was given the chance to defend being online. I farmed a level 3 workbench and then it was time to begin the super smelter. I decided that I would be making the system inside an oversized warehouse next door to my base rather than just cramming 100 furnaces into my compound. And I had completely underestimated the pain that it would be to get this thing up and running. A lot of time goes into these videos, so if you're enjoying, make sure to drop us a sub. It helps the channel a bunch.
And after literally seven hours of building, crafting, and plugging, we had more than a hundred furnaces smelting ore at an unreasonable speed. Now I just needed to get a bunch of ore so I could actually use it. And what better way to do that than stealing it from the clan? Dude, we need so much ore now because these furnaces are just going to keep going. Oh shit, there's a guy here. Well, he's dead. This might be the clan. I feel like it is. There's definitely going to be more than full kit. Yep, here they come. We're both terrible. Is that him? That was the last He's on my roof. He's on my roof. He's on my roof. This might break the camel's back and get me raided, but I'm going to do it anyway. Oh, they've got a car here. They've got a camper van. They must have no more kits in there. Wait, how expensive is it to break a camper van? Because I have C4. I could throw C4 in it and break it open. There could be a bunch of farm in that storage box. I'm just going to bring it. Wait, 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 wait. Never mind. There's no kits. Clear all these beds straight away. What's in the back? Oh, never mind the C4. You don't need C4. This is going straight in the super smelter and we can test the speed. Okay, so basically how this works is there's an input box and there's an output box. Everything goes in here unsmelted and it all comes out the other side, cooked. Pretty simple. Let's go back to the van quickly and get the rest of it. Wait, they got the rest. One of them came back. I think that's the rest of it that was in the car. So we did get it all. Okay, so it's been just less than five minutes to put all that ore in. Let's have a look. Okay. Okay, that's pretty decent. I mean, we're limited by like a few different things, but all the ore has gone into the furnaces. It's just getting cooked now. This was the end of my day and it had already been a long one. I waited about an hour AFK in base in case the clan did show up. However, I needed sleep. An hour and a half later, I woke up to something that you never want to see. No way, dude. What? 
Please tell me they didn't grief me. Oh, they're still here. They're mid raid. They're raiding the furnace now. They definitely already got into my core because that's where I was AFK. whole core's gone. I got TC still. I literally don't know where they are. No, dude. Bro, it was a pretty pitiful defense, but they were already in my core before I was even online, and that's before we even consider the fact that there was a lot more of them than me. They did leave a bit of my loot, and my external TCs meant that I could reseal the base and rebuild. However, the damage was done. All the farm that I had accumulated and most of my kits were gone. The worst part, though, probably had to be that three quarters of the smelter was broken in the process. Fortunately, there was still a quarter left running, and I was more than capable of rebuilding using this. This clan would get their reality check soon. Don't worry about that. Fortunately, I managed to salvage one AK from that fight because they didn't loot my body up in the roof after I died. So we will be researching this straight away. The goal for today is just to get explosive BPs, all the tier 3 stuff that we need so we can get back at this group. I don't know how we're going to do it, but we're going to need some boom for it. Just a laser. Okay. Another laser? What? Rocket C4. Thank God for that last crate. I researched both the explosive and rocket, as well as tech trade all the way down to rocket launcher. This was a big day of rebuilding after the offline raid, and tomorrow would be all about revenge. However, revenge couldn't come soon enough. Raided. By the clan again. How did they raid me this time? This time we don't even get to defend, or at least attempt to defend. It couldn't have been long ago. All the loot's still on the floor. Yeah, it's ransacked. Oh, they went through the roof. What? So they got rid of my turrets on the roof. Is this kit still here? Okay. 
Okay, we might have some kits still, but still annoying. They've just taken Heli to rub it in. Once again, the clan had taken everything I owned while I slept. With only a few kits to my name, I rebuilt. It was made a lot easier by the 25 electric furnaces that were still running in my warehouse. These guys had made the mistake of raiding me, but not getting rid of me. And today, they were going to pay for it. I grabbed some HV rockets and headed towards launch site to take Bradley. That was before I was distracted. Ooh, python shots. Few gunshots down there. Do we go to it? Yeah, I reckon. Wait. Is that guy hitting a hard side wall? There's one of them stuck in there. I wonder how low it is. I'm just gonna wait until he opens it up. Hopefully they have enough. Hopefully I'm not just sitting here for ages and they just don't have enough. Okay, he's comp it must be close if he's compound bowing it, right? That was so bad for me. That's my warm up. Oh my god, please tell me there's more than this in here. Okay. A little bit of farm. Oh! Oh! What? Of course, now people turn up. Oh, there's more. There's at least two more. I just gotta run. I'm gonna get the rest. Oh no. How many? Three guys? I think it's three guys. I'm not in a good spot here. Okay, they're not running directly at me. They're going above me on the hill. This actually might be good. I still got a 3v1 them though. Is he dead? I don't know if I killed him. He's dead. I got them all. Oh my God. The perfect way to start the day after getting offline. I looted the rest from these bodies and also the metal that was left in the base that I took over and got it all cooking in the smelter. Then we headed to go do that Bradley run that we were originally planning on doing. Oh. Is he dead? He's gotta be dead, right? Oh my god. Dude. Just depot it straight into the furnace. It's actually ridiculous how much ore we've got this morning without even having to farm. No, he got the rest. I'm pretty sure there's still quite a bit of sulfur on there and a kit. 
I kind of wanted that. Arctic suit on the ice lake. That could be him. Although I don't know why it would be Arctic suit. It's gone so dark. We'll be lucky to find him now. Never mind. He's decided to turn on his flashlight for us. How did I just win that? How am I alive? I could not see him. I was just shooting into the light. Oh, it is him. Thank you very much. We got the rest of it. We were very much back after a rough couple of days. All of this ore that we had accumulated by farming people instead of nodes was about to come in very handy. I finally completed that Bradley run that was evading us, got a little bit of loot from that, and then headed over to the clan's base to see what the plan of attack would be. I haven't been here in a while. It'd be interesting to see where their base is at. Oh, look at the watchtowers. Someone anadoed them. I think someone TC bombed them as well, but I'm pretty sure they're not raided. Now, it is a bit of a weird hour at the moment. Obviously, I'm Australian playing US servers, so I think these guys potentially could be offline right now, but there's so many of them that there's no doubt maybe one of them on. But there is the potential that they're all offline right now, which would give me a very small window of opportunity. If I'm going to do anything, I have to get to their roof. And I'm pretty sure they have like a bunch of SAM sites and then turrets on the roof as well. So somehow I have to take all the turrets and SAM sites out and then fly to their roof. That's the only way I can do anything. But first, I think I'm going to build a like, I'll just build a little two by two here as a forward operating base and then try and ladder up. See what I can see for now. They do have 270 rockets in vending machines, so there's definitely loot to be had. Not that this is even about loot. I don't really care for any loot from this. I just want to mess with them. This is a good way to test if they're online. If they are, then they'll probably start firing at me when I build this base, once they realize. Well, they're not shooting at me yet, so that's a good sign. How many SAM sites? Oh my god, there's a lot of SAM sites. It looks like six SAM sites. And then each of those pods probably has a turret in it as well. Six SAM sites though. I'm pretty sure the best way to take them out is flame arrows. Okay, this is a much better vantage spot. It's a much better spot to shoot the SAM sites and turrets from. Oh, it broke. There's one down. Oh, it broke. The last one broke. Okay. Now we've got to get HVs and HV out the turrets. That should be all the turrets. All the SAMs are gone. So I should be able to go buy a minicopter and land safely on their roof. But we won't know till we try it. Okay, moment of truth. This is when we find out if we got all the turrets or not. Because if we didn't, we lose this minicopter and we have to go farm a whole nother one. It's looking good. Okay, okay. Oh my god. I'm on their roof. Now the first thing I want to do is these lockers. But also, wait, oh, this must have blown up when I was blowing turrets or maybe when the scrap heli blew up. Oh my God, dude. Oh my God. Okay. Ooh, I can't die to turret. That will be annoying. 
Gotta be careful. There's so many lockers, though. And there's like four minicopters up here. We gotta get to breaking these lockers. If these are all full of kits, I don't even know what I'm gonna do with them. That's promising. That is so promising for the rest of them. We got a depot. I really don't want all these Sars and Tommies. I'm just going to change the price on them. Well, firstly, I'll change the name. Get a bit toxic with the name. But then I'll just I'll just change the price to make them heaps cheap and sell them to the server. You know, give back a bit. And then the next move is just to get as many rockets as I can and blow through the roof. Just try and top down them. See how close to open core I can get. Okay, I've just got eight rockets for now. I'm just going to blow through the first layer and then reassess from there. That's good. <gasps> There's vending machines. I want somewhere to jump up in case there's turret. <gasps> no way, dude. What do I even do with all of this? I need more launchers. Oh shit, I don't have a launcher. That... Okay, I'm gonna core down there. I'm just gonna try and get into the core first. I need to be careful that I don't break the vending machines because when vending machines get broken, half of the loot inside despawns. I'm just going to rock it right there until this launcher breaks and then go home and get another one. But I need to be quick. <gasps> no! What? They're on lock. Oh. Just grab as many as I can. What do I do? You know what I'm going to do? This might be a bit of a dog act, but I actually don't care. I'm just despawning them. Just gotta shoot these vending machines out and despawn half of them that are in there and do what I can with the rest of them. Just try and get off as many as I can before this rocket launcher breaks. I don't really have another option now because I can't go home because I'll just reseal it all. Okay, that's one vending machine. I just despawned 45 rockets. Now the next one. And there goes the other one. That's most of the rockets that I could get despawned. Because I've shot a lot as well. I'm just going to keep shooting the rest though. Until this launcher breaks. Which isn't going to be long. That's it. That's GG. <laughs> and after all that, I decided death by auto turret was the way to go out. Don't forget to check out Raid Shadow Legends and collect the awesome bonuses on offer. And while you do that, watch this video where I took over a train tunnel's entrance for a wipe.